Hey hey, today we are going to do a review of question 6 of the 2023 edition of mathematics internal under the topic of trigger identities. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button so that you can be seeing each and every video posted on this channel. On this channel, you will learn more and different techniques of solving questions. Let's try checking the question on the paper, on the paper, on the question paper. Here is the question covering four marks. This question requires you to have the two sides should have equal things. So they have mentioned here, prove the identity. The question says, prove the identity. You need to start proving and you need to and watch this video up to the end so that you know how to prove an identity and how to prove such questions. Let's now get to the solving. Here, when solving such questions, you need to look for the part which would be easier for you to solve. So, on this part, you're going to look, the first thing you're going to look, you're going to look at uh, the things which would be easier for you to solve so that it equals another thing. So here, the left part is easier for you to have 6 squared theta. So we are going to make 2 over 4 uh, 2 over cos to the power 4 theta minus sine to the power 4 theta plus 1 equal to sec squared theta. At the end of the video, when we finish solving, those two will be equal. Let's get to the solving. So here we're going to say 2 over cos uh, here we're going to split cos power 4 theta into 2. We are going to make 2 cos squared theta. We are going to have 2 cos squared theta. So here you're going to put them in brackets and then you're going to say minus sine squared power 4. This one will just remain like this since our aim is to make them the same so that okay you shall see in the video so here we are going to say 2 over remember cos squared theta plus uh, sine sine squared theta is equal to 1 here, we are going to make cos squared theta the subject. So it, uh, it is going to be 1 cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So those in brackets are going to equal those. Uh, those in brackets are going to equal 1 minus sine squared theta. So cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So you're going you are going to replace those in brackets. After doing that you now write those. So it is going to be one and then at uh, and then you're going to do some uh, calculations here. It is going to be one multiplied by 1, it is going to be 1, and then 1 multiplied by negative uh, sine squared theta, it is going to be negative sine squared theta, and then negative sine squared theta multiplied by 1, it is going to be negative sine squared theta, and then negative uh, sine squared theta multiplied by negative sine squared theta, it is going to be positive sine 
power 4 theta and then again you are going to write negative uh, sine power 4 theta plus 1 and then those alike terms positive uh, sine power 4 theta minus sine power 4 theta you do some calculations and uh, that is going to be 0 those are like terms since those are like terms and then you're going to choose another others which have uh, like terms and in this case we have uh, negative sine squared theta and then the, the other one is uh, negative sine squared theta it is going to be negative 2 sine squared theta. and then the other like term is uh, 1 and positive 1 so here it is going to be 2 minus 2 uh, minus uh, 2 sine squared theta when we do some calculations according to the like terms so here it will be let me wrap some here yeah, those should remember the target is to make those equal to sec squared theta so here it will be 2 over those uh, the down things those things which are down which are negative uh, which are 2 minus uh, 2 sine squared theta we need to factorize them let's try factorizing so here it will be when you factorize uh, the common number is the common thing there is a uh, 2 you're going to factorize your gain so the common thing is 2 here so 2 is the one which is common it will be out of the bracket brackets and then you're going to put 1 minus sine squared theta in the brackets so that's how it is going to be remember there is a 2 up there and the 2 down there and those two when they divide it is going to be one so they just they will just cancel each other so at the end it is going to be one over one minus and remember one thing cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one and then you're going again you're going to make cos squared theta the subject it is going to be 1 minus uh, sine squared theta here it is going to be here yeah, as it is so here those equals that and then you're going to say cos squared theta so here it is going to be 1 over squared theta and uh, remember sec theta is uh, equal to 1 over cos theta now what will happen if you square a uh, sec theta when you square sec uh, theta you also need to square 1 over cos theta so here it is going to be 1 over cos squared theta since you have squared both sides when you square one the other side should also be squared so here it is it is going to be so this 1 over cos uh, squared theta has changed to sec squared theta as uh, the question requires so this question has it has e uh, they have become equal now they are equivalent so this has been proved so this is how you prove such questions that's how you score for marks on identities 
so that's how you score for max don't forget to subscribe so that you learn more interesting techniques and more solvings